In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a KPD keypad. Uh, before you can set up your KPD keypad, there's certain things that I've already gotten started in the project. I've already added an AX800. I've added my sources, my IR sources. And I've gone into the source labeling and I've already labeled those sources. So I know what sources I'm going to add to my keypad and I know which order they're going to fall in. So the next thing I do Let's go ahead and I'm going to close this one out right here. And I'm going to go ahead over to here. And this is where I add my Axiom devices to my location. So I'm going to do a drop down. I'm going to add a KPD keypad to my project. Okay, when I click on it, this is how it opens. And what you see here, this is the home page of the KPD. Here is my page and my page items. Right now I have no items on my page. If I want to add items to my page, I have a lot of options. Um, the way I get to those options is this. I'm going to right click on page items, go down to add. Once I go to add, I can add at this point axiom commands. I can add zones. So say I want to have multiple zones on here. Here I could just simply add uh, a bunch of zones to them so it would switch zones as I hit those buttons. Here I can add new pages there. I can add pages with selected sources on them. So if I want to have a page and I want to have a source with that page. I can do that there. We're going to do that later on, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. Here I can add new pages with source and zone selection. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to go to Axiom here. We're going to Source Select. We're simply going to choose Source 1. And that shows up here. And we're going to do the same thing a couple of more times because we're going to add. We have four sources. We're going to add four of these. But next time we're going to go to Source 2. We're going to continue, and we're going to add source 3, and we're going to add source 4. One thing you should know about, when you have the red X right here, and any time you're programming a KPD keypad, any time you have a red X next to a source or next to an actual option on there, that means that it's controlling the Axiom system itself. Reason why that's important because you can have these control receivers or other uh, devices that's on your system or on your network that's not necessarily the Axiom. Say, for instance, if you were using a R4 or R1, uh, you wouldn't necessarily need to have the Axiom source uh, control because the Axiom would not be it; would be a receiver or something. But when anytime you have the X there, that means that you're controlling the Axiom device. From here, we do have options for this keypad. And what we're going to do is go to Settings here. In the Settings windows here, this allows you to choose your font. This allows you to change your text color, change your heading color. This is the color that it switches to when you select a source. Okay, you can have Auto Zone uh, Assignment, meaning that it's simply going to go to the next zone available. Here, you can actually select a zone and tell it which zone you want this one keypad to operate. Here, we have an IR receiver. If you click that, that turns on the IR receiver built into the keypad, meaning that if you have a handheld remote in that room, that keypad can serve as an IR receiver. Here, this is the brightness level of our keypad, and we can change that. Here's the dim level on our keypad. Uh, when it goes dim, zero means it's going to go all the way black. If we add numbers to there, it's going to go down to that level of dimness. Okay, the default on that is zero. Here's a dim duration, meaning that how long am I going to sit before I actually go dim. The default on that is 30 seconds, and of course you could raise it or lower it uh, from that 30 seconds there. Display off in standby, meaning that when you turn your system off, it turns that keypad off. Keypad goes to a standby mode, and it's simply going to go black until you push the power button on here. You have dim actions. When things go dim, you can execute some sort of uh, command if you wanted to. At the bottom, we're going to come back to sources. At the bottom here, this is where you can choose what color you want your background to be, which is different from this. This is the main background of your keypad. And you can pick and choose which color you would want that to be. Okay, and then click OK on that. Here, if you wanted, you can add an image. This image could be the background on your keypad. How do you get to that? Of course, you go to your gallery. And simply choose an image that you may have in your gallery. You can go ahead and you can drag that over. Once you do that, it'll let you actually scale that. Okay, you can do it landscape, you can do it portrait. 
if I zoom in and out, this is the actual size of the window of the keypad. And this is how exactly how it would look in that keypad. So you can scale that keypad. And that would now be the background that would show up on my keypad. If I choose to go to color, I just simply go to color. And then I would just simply choose a color for my background. We're just going to leave that white for this project. Okay, back up here to sources. This is where we actually name our sources that's going to be on our keypad. The way we do that is this. Just click in the box there and backspace out of there. I'm going to name my sources. My first one's going to be CD. I'm going to go ahead and call this DVD. I'm going to name my next one Tuner. And my next one is going to be Cable. If you have more than four sources, uh, simply go down the, one, the line here, and you can add, name as many sources as you want, including a media tab can be added uh, to this keypad as well. Okay, once you have all of this set up right here, let me choose a zone here. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, go back to the home page. And one thing you notice, that since we went and set up everything for the Axiom, notice that we not only did it change the name, but it assigned the volume, the power, the mute all that has been assigned to the axiom itself so now it knows that it's going to be controlled by the axiom in the simplest form this keypad could be ready to go I could upload this keypad right now and what would happen when I hit the CD it would switch the axiom to the CD source I'll be able to control the volume up and down the mute and the standby Okay, I can switch to any of these sources and it will work perfectly. This could be a perfectly good working keypad at this point. And that's the most basic. Let's say you want some functionality for that keypad. Say I have CD, perhaps I want to add some functions to that CD. The way you would do that is this. You go ahead and you create a page. You want to add a CD page. And we're going to go ahead and get that page, name it CD. If you notice now, we once again have an empty page here. We have a home we have a home page now with this stuff and we have a CD page. Okay? So here we can tell this what we want to happen when we're on our CD page. And I'm going to add some functionality to this because I want to actually be able to operate that CD player. Now remember, this is just a keypad. And on this keypad, you have to get to each command by going up down and then go ahead and select that function that you want to use and then click OK to use that function. That being said, you don't want to have too many functions on here that would make it difficult to use your keypad. So I'm going to add just a few functions to that. I'm going to add to that a play button. I'm going to add a stop. And I'm going to add a pause. Gives you very basic functions, but just just to show that you can have some functionality on these pages here. Okay, now what do I do with that page here? I'm going to go ahead and click back on my home page here. And what I do, I take the CD page that I just created, I just simply drop it right here on top of that CD, and then it says here to link commands. So I'm going to go ahead and link those commands together. Now what happens when I push the CD button, it takes me to the CD page. And when I get to the CD page, what do I get? I get these functions. And now I can go ahead and push play or pause. And I'm going to do that for a couple of other pages. We have a DVD page. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and create another page, call it DVD. And I'm going to do the same thing. Very basic functions I'm going to grab from my DVD player. Okay, probably the same functions. I'm going to grab a play. I'm going to grab a pause. And I'm going to grab a stop. Now, you can go a little bit further with that. This is a DVD or a CD. You may want to skip forward and then skip back. I wouldn't do much more than that, though. That, that's probably the extent of what I would actually do with that. Okay, and once again, I would go back to my home page, take that DVD page, and drop it right here on the DVD page. And I'd go ahead and i put a link on there. And I would continue to do that. I would create one for my tuner, and I would go ahead and I would create one for my cable box. In fact, that's all I'm going to go ahead and put on there. 
And the only thing left to do is really just upload this system at this point. The first thing I'm going to do is upload the upgrades to my 800. So my 800 will actually know what to do with that. How you do that? You make sure your mini USB is plugged into your computer and to the back of your 800. Okay? Go ahead and highlight it and then go ahead and do the upload. After that, you want to do the same thing with your keypad. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to go ahead and plug that same mini USB into the side of my keypad. And I'm going to go ahead and upload this keypad, this program right here, to the keypad. The way you do that, click on the KPD and go ahead and hit upload on there. It will give you, ask you a little question here, and you say yes. As you can see, it's going to go ahead and upload that program to my keypad. Now this is my KPD keypad. On my keypad, you can see I have my CD player, my DVD player, my tuner. Okay, if I go ahead and select the CD player, I can see the functions that I put there. My play, my pause, my stop. It's there if I want to go back, I'll hit my back button. I can go right down and do the DVD and get the functions that I put on there. Now another way to set up your KPD keypad is to have it set up so it automatically uh, picks up all of the source information from the 800 or the 400. The way you're going to do that is this. We're going to go ahead and start with a fresh project here. Go ahead and open up. We're going to go ahead and drop an 800 in our project. Okay, the first thing we're going to do with our 800 is go ahead and open that up here. And we're going to go right here immediately to label our sources. So what we're going to do is go ahead and label the sources that we may have on our system. We're going to have a CD. Uh, let's go ahead with a tuner. Uh, we'll go ahead with a cable. And we'll go ahead with a DVD. Okay, now what I did, I went ahead and I, I named those sources and the source labeling in the 800 here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and pull these sources right in our project. And I'm going to go ahead and open up and grab my CD player. Drop it on there. Notice I'm not putting these on IRs yet. I'm just simply dropping them in the project at this point. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get a tuner. I'll go back up to Carver. We'll grab a tuner there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go ahead and add our KPD keypad. Okay, hit the drop down. We're dropping our KPD. Okay, and once you open the KPD, once again, uh, this is how it looks when you when you open it. Now, what we're going to do, go ahead to the settings page, but this time we're going to go down to our sources. But instead of actually typing in the name of the source, what we're going to put is this. You may want to put your caps on for this. You want to put your capital letters. The first thing you want to put is go ahead and put. A percentage sign and then the word source and then that source number and then the percentage sign again and we're going to do that for all four of our sources here the percentage sign and the word source remember this has to be capital letters here and we're going to go ahead and put the source again percentage sign and we'll do that for the next two sources as well Okay, so like before, you're going to actually go up top here, and you're going to let it know what zone it is. In this case, we're going to go ahead and make that zone 1. We're going to go ahead and check the automatic uh, auto assign and the IR. Once again, if you want to make changes to the background colors and things like that, that's done here as usual. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and click our home page here. Once you click our home page, you'll notice that what we have, once again, we have all the axiom control here. Now we're going to go ahead and add our, our page item. So the way you do that, right click here, go down to add. But here, when we go across and source select, you notice that what we have now is the percentage signs with the source word that we put in there. So we're going to go ahead and add one, two, three, and four that way. Add three to source three. Add source four. Now, the important thing to remember about this is to make sure you always use caps on this. Put in the actual source number right there so it knows what source it is. Now, quite as if we had eight sources, we'd go ahead and we put all eight of our sources in there the exact same way. 
Okay, so at this point, what we have, we have our home page, and on our home page, we have the sources. We're going to go ahead and upload this to our keypad just as is. First thing we're going to do, though, of course, is let the amplifier know what's going on. So we're going to go ahead and upload that. Once again, a mini USB in the back of our amplifier. We'll go ahead and upload this project to our amplifier first. And now we're going to go ahead and upload this project to our KPD keypad. The way you do that, of course, you go ahead and plug in a mini USB into the side of your keypad there. Go ahead to your KPD, highlight it here, and do the upload. And as you can see, once we uploaded that, it went to source one, and then it immediately went ahead and occupied the keypad with the sources that we put in our system. Now, any keypad that you have in your system, KPD or KPC, once you plug it in at this point and upload it, it will automatically upload with the zone information and the actual source information um, built into the keypad. Now, you can take that a step further, adding sources or zones the exact same way. So say I wanted multiple zones on this keypad. What I can do is this. If I right-click here, go down to Add, this time I'm just going to add zone. If you notice, it automatically puts that in there for you. Only thing I would have to do at this point, if I was to have multiple zones, is I would go and edit right here. And that, that the only edit would be, I would change this zone number right here to zone 2. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of zones. We'll add maybe three zones. And I'll go ahead and add. And I'll go right here to Axiom, Zone, and adding a zone there. Right click on that. I'm going to rename that. And I'm going to go ahead and make that a zone 3. So what I have now is three different zones in my system. If I want to have three different zone names on here, what I'm going to do is go over to here. Over to here, and I'm going to go ahead and drop in zones out of my project view. I'm going to drop in a bathroom zone. I'm going to drop in a dining room zone. And I'm going to drop in the family room zone. Okay. And notice that these locations right here, these zone numbers here, they're going to automatically match these zone numbers that I have over here. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and add a fourth zone for this. And we'll make this uh, zone four here. Four. Okay, what I'm going to do is go ahead and upload this. Once again, I'm going to upload it to my amplifier first. And now I'm going to go ahead and upload that to my keypad. I'm going to go ahead, same way, highlight the keypad and upload it. So now what I have in my keypad, I have the locations that I put along with the sources. Okay, and the way it would work, if I was to select this zone right here, this source with this zone right here, I go ahead and hit that. Now family room is selected, and I can go ahead and select the source for that zone there. And if I hit OK, now I would have the tuner in the family room. Or whatever location that you choose, you choose the location. So say we chose bathroom, and then we can go ahead up and we can choose, say, cable for that bathroom. And that's how you would add multiple zones with the same sources to a KPD keypad.